in this forecast. A geomagnetic storm is expected to hit Earth later today. What impacts will this bring? There is also a significant flooding potential coming to portions of the United States on Friday. And the tropics may be getting very active very soon. We have the latest details for you and more in this forecast. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Max Velocity Weather Forecast, and let's get right into that geomagnetic storm that's expected tonight and tomorrow across Earth. And I'm going to kind of give you a breakdown on who could see some auroras tonight across the United States. Let's get right into it, though. So there is a high chance that you may be able to see some auroras tonight if you're in the northern plains, anywhere in the Midwest, portions of the Ohio Valley. So basically, anywhere in the green, you have a pretty good chance of seeing some auroras. Now, the big thing is it needs to be pretty much clear skies or maybe just a few clouds also. So you need to be away from lights. Make sure that you're in a very dark area if you want to see these auroras tonight. There's a chance that you might you might not. It's always a possibility, but there's a very good chance that a lot of these areas could see auroras tonight. That is due to that geomagnetic storm that is going to be pushing the auroras down to the south. That is why we're going to see that potential tonight. There is still a little low sliver that does include areas like New York City, goes through even portions like Kansas City. So there's a low chance you may be able to see something tonight, but it's more likely than not you're going to see auroras back off to the north. That's at least in what terms we're expecting from this geomagnetic storm tonight. It's actually going to be a pretty strong one, so keep that in mind. All right, let's hop into that flash flooding potential for Friday. There is currently a moderate risk of flash flooding currently for southern and portions of eastern Arizona, as well as southwestern New Mexico. This basically means there's at least a 40% chance within a 25-mile radius of some flash flooding threats. Now, obviously, make sure you turn around. Don't drown if you're going to be on the roadways. If you see any water under overpass or anything like that, make sure you're taking those proper precautions. Do not drive through that water water as well as seek higher ground if you're in any situation where the, the water is getting too high in your location all right here's a look at the rainfall totals again a lot of rain is expected over the next several days that's all due to the monsoon weather unfortunately some isolated locations could see upwards of eight to potentially 10 inches of rain it's gonna be a very isolated threat but most areas down in the south and the southeastern portions of arizona over the next three days will likely see between four to maybe six inches of rain so that's still a lot we could very well see as high as 10 inches all right let's hop into the tropics we do have an area of development to watch that is currently going to be going into the southwestern gulf of mexico heading into this upcoming few days now as of right now it has a 20 percent chance of developing over the next five days it is likely to make landfall somewhere either in mexico or potentially potentially into extreme southern Texas, maybe going into this upcoming weekend. So that's what we're forecasting as of right now. Now, if this does develop, it will likely only be a tropical depression, if not maybe a weak tropical storm. Here's a look at the forecast as of right now, the wind field and whatnot. This is kind of a look at it. So you can kind of see the little low pressure system down in the southwestern Gulf. Knots are only around 20 to 25. That basically means we're not looking at anything beyond a tropical depression. Eventually, the European model shows it makes landfall sometime around late Saturday into Sunday. More than anything, this is going to be bringing rainfall maybe some isolated flash flooding beyond that though it's not expected to become anything that significant now there is a different story though heading into potentially later this month now the gfs model has actually been showing the potential for a tropical storm or maybe even a hurricane to develop at the end of this month in the gulf of mexico now this is just one computer model i am showing it because it's been very consistent over the last 48 hours it will definitely be something to watch but here's a look at the computer model heading into the 26th and 27th the gfs model is putting a little tropical storm development down into the central and southern portions of the gulf of mexico heading into the 27th this eventually goes off to the north it becomes potentially a hurricane or even worse than that and gets closer to the gulf coast and eventually makes landfall now again nothing that you should be taking precautions for now and it's not something you should be panicking about either it is just one computer model it is going to be something to monitor it is not something to panic though for we'll have to watch that pretty closely again a lot of things can change between now and almost 250 hours out but it's gonna be a system to watch again the gfs model has been very consistent with that system by far all right let's take a look at the severe weather potential for today there is actually a marginal threat it goes from texas down all the way into florida the main threats today damaging winds maybe an isolated storm with quarter size tail but nothing beyond that here's a look at the timing this afternoon we'll see some storms develop around six to eight o'clock up in northern and central louisiana as well as into mississippi eventually going to the overnight hours those storms move down to the south and east florida is likely going to see some storms overnight into the morning hours but again no severe weather is really expected beyond midnight tonight here's a look at the timing across areas like mississippi and alabama tonight storms will fire up mostly in southern areas of Alabama and Mississippi. Eventually by about 10 to 11 o'clock, storms moving into Florida and eventually going to the overnight hours. Just some isolated storm activity still remaining there. Another marginal threat tomorrow goes into Georgia and Florida. Gets kind of cut off there in the Florida panhandle, but eventually continues into areas like Texas and as well as through areas like South 
Alabama. Here's a look at the timing tomorrow. The timing, really, a lot of storms are going to develop again tomorrow by 3 to 4 o'clock. A much wider amount of storms, more widespread by 3 to 4 o'clock tomorrow. Damaging winds and maybe some isolated large hail being the main threats. Eventually going past sunset, more storms still ongoing, but overall, storm activity should be minimal after about 10 to 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. There's also another threat for severe weather heading into the following day on Friday. This does include areas from Iowa down into Kansas. Now, an isolated tornado threat will exist. More shear will be available, so I'll we'll have to watch this pretty closely. It'll be to be from a uh, positively tilted trough, so I'll we'll have to watch this system pretty closely as well. We will keep you updated again with the latest on that here on our YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you have not already. This forecast is brought to my Platinum Contracting and All Dents Repair.